So what we're looking at today is scientific notation. Now, scientific notation is used to, as a short way to write really, really large numbers, such as the distance from Earth to Pluto, or really, really small numbers, like the size of molecules. Now, in scientific notation or standard form, a number is written as a number between 1 and 10, that's the first part, and then we multiply that by a power of 10. So here you can see two examples. We have 3.24 times 10 to the power of 5. That's going to be a bigger number because it's a positive power. And then we have 6.78 times 10 to the power of negative 4, which will be a very small number because it's got a negative power. So what we do, we move the decimal point to after the first non-zero digit, we count how many places you've moved the decimal point and make this your power of 10. Now, if the original number was greater than 1, the power is positive. If the number is less than 1, the power will be negative. So let's have a look at the following examples. So 23,000. So the decimal place will go after the 2. That gives us 2.3. Now that decimal place has moved one, two, three, four places. So we're going to multiply that by 10 to the power of 4. Now let's have a look at question B. Question B, the decimal place, it would normally go after the 5. But when we write whole numbers, we don't have to put a decimal place, so it just becomes 5. Now that has moved one space, giving us 5 times 10 to the power of 1, but because it's to the power of 1, we just write times by 10. So 50 is equal to 5 times 10. Now part C. So the decimal place will go after the 6, so we get 6.4. Now it's moved 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 places. But this time, our number's less than 1. So we're going to multiply that by 10 to the power of negative 4. And then our last one, just like in part B, our decimal place will go after the number 9. But because it's just 9, we don't have to write that decimal place. And then our decimal place has moved 6 places. We can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we multiply it by 10 to the power of negative 6. Now, to write them in basic numbers, so here we have 6.74. So we're going to write down the 6.74 and then we'll move the decimal place five spaces. So that will give us 6.74 or 674,000, and you can see that what we've done is we've put zeros in to the empty spaces as placeholders. And that gives us 674,000. Now for part B, moving the decimal place, so you can see that we've written down the 2932, so 2932, and the decimal place has moved 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 places to the right. Okay, giving us 293,200,000. So here, on part C, it's negative 6. So we know the number is going to be decimal and it's going to be less than 1. So... If we move the decimal place six spaces to the left, because it's a negative, we go to the left and we add zeros to the empty spaces, we get 0 0.0000049. And then on the last one, D, there's no decimal place shown there, and so we know, we assume it's at the end. And we're going to move that three spaces to the left. Again, negative means to the left. So that's one, two, oh, sorry, I'll draw that again because I started in the wrong spot. That's starting from after the seven, 
one, two, three spaces. So I want you to write these in ascending order. Okay, so one of the things that you can look at, there's two different ways you can do this. The first way is to write them out as whole numbers. So that gives you 674,000. The second one, 9.6 times 10 to the power of 4, gives us 96,000. And 1.52 times 10 to the power of 5 gives us 152,000. So we can see very easily now what the numbers are and can place those in order. So the smallest number is 96,000. The next number is 152,000. And then our largest is 674,000. What we have to remember to do, though, is to change that back into the scientific notation. So 96,000 is 9.6 times 10 to the power of 4. And then we get 1.52 times 10 to the power of 5 for 152,000. And 6.74 times 10 to the power of 5 for 674,000. So if we have a look at the next ones, we're going to do the same. So we verse convert them to decimal form or normal numbers. We place them in order. Okay, so we get 0 0.0352 because that's our first value is in the thousandths column. And then we have 0 0.00852 where the 8 is in the hundredths column, and 0 0.074. And taking those back to their scientific notation, we get 3.52 times 10 to the power of 13, 8.52 times 10 to the power of negative 3, and 7.4 times 10 to the power of negative 2. Now, another way that you can have a look at it, let's have a look at what's happened here. You'll notice that when we put them in order, the powers go from smallest to largest. Four, five, five. So we look at the powers first. So that automatically tells us that 9.6 times 10 to the power of 4, that is the smallest. And then we compare if they have the same power. So here, 1.52 times 10 to the power of 5 or 6.74 times 10 to the power of 5, we can then look at the first number. So you can see that 1.52 is smaller than 6.74. That saves us a lot of time of not having to change it to normal numbers first, but you need to be fairly confident in that. Now, here are the exercises, so make sure you have a go at these, and if you need help, make sure you ask for it. Okay? Ask if needed.